The vibrations of ideal mass spring oscillators are sinusoidal. We've examined a sine wave in terms of its period, frequency, and amplitude. Phase is another important measurement of the sine wave and it indicates where the wave is in its cycle. Phase can be measured in degrees from 0 degrees to 360 degrees or in radians 0 to 2 pi. When we consider the phase of a wave, we're asking where is the wave relative to its starting position. Here, for example, we would say that that sine wave is at 90 degrees. When we come back to the same position we started at, we would say we're at 180 degrees. When we return again all the way back to our original place, we're at 360 degrees. If we are at our trough minimum, we are at 270 degrees. But in vibration testing, an engineer's interest is not so much the phase of an individual wave, but the phase difference between a sine wave and a reference wave. Two sine waves are out of phase when they are not at the same point in their cycle at the same time. In this example on the left, if we took a look at this green sine wave, right here it's at its peak. At the very moment, the blue wave is at its equilibrium position. We would say about those two waves that they are out of phase. In fact, we would say they're 90 degrees out of phase. In the situation on the right, the green wave is at its peak at the very moment that the blue wave is at its trough. We would say those again are out of phase. In fact, we would say they are 180 degrees out of phase. If the green and the blue line overlaid on exactly the same uh, cycle, where the green and the blue would be at the same position here, we would say they are in phase. If we considered the case of the cantilevered beam that we've been looking at, when the beam is vibrating and is at its peak compared to, say, the shaker head, which would be at an equilibrium position, which would be the same as where the beam would be when it's not vibrating, peak compared to equilibrium position, we would say is 90 degrees out of phase. If we were comparing the end of the beam at one moment compared to another moment, once where it's at its peak and one where it's at its minimum, we would say that the peak to the trough is 180 degrees out of phase. So when we're studying the vibrations of an object, we are not only interested in its peak or its amplitude, and we're not only interested in its frequency, how many cycles happened per second, but we're also interested in the phase of that particular vibration. And so here is that long beam resonance that we have been looking at. And that resonance happened at 12.8 Hertz. And the question would be, what was the phase of that beam at that time or at that frequency? And on our vibration view software, that resonance of 12.8 Hertz, that end of that long beam had a phase of minus 94 degrees. And so we want to study not only the amplitude, the frequency, but also the phase of that vibration. Phase is an important aspect of an object's vibration and understanding whether or not two vibrations are in phase or out of phase is critical to the vibration testing.